And let's turn our attention to Africa, where negative perceptions and representations such as civil wars, hunger, corruption, greed, selfishness, diseases, poverty, and the like have been the defining characters of the continent and Africans in the minds of many Western people. Now, while a lot of good things are ha happening out of Africa, little has been done to change the negative perceptions. And due to this, it is paramount to showcase the best of Africa and its diaspora through programming that positively and more accurately impact and reflect the experiences and dreams of people of African heritage around the world. Examples of African doing great in various fields, uh, Mrs. Okonjo Ewala, named Director, Director General of the World Trade Organization. In the world of music, Bonaboy Whiskey were winners at the 2021 Grammys. And in the world of sports, Anthony Joshua and Francis Gano are heavyweight champions. And joining me now via Skype from Toronto, Canada, to discuss the need for more showcasing of Africa is Executive Vice President of Afro Global TV and Silver Trust Media, Patricia Bibia Mawa. Good to have you join us. Um, when you look at Thank the you so much. when you look at the narrative in, in the past decades, you know, as of Africa as um, a war-torn region, you know, crisis reading, poverty, um, illiteracy. Would you say that that assessment today would be fair? Um, no, I, and that is why we're very passionate about what we do. Uh, when I migrated to Canada in 2000, uh, most of the images that we saw in the media had to do with war, poverty, uh, diseases, and, you know, everything was negative. So my husband and I wanted to change this narrative, and, and that's where we started the Planet Africa television show. Um, eventually, we you know, started a few other magazines, and today we have a 24-hour TV channel. And our goal is to showcase the best of Africa and the diaspora. Um, Africa has a lot of wonderful things. You know, we have a rich cultural diversity. Where people are resilient and and they, they just so much about us. For instance, if you if you look at Nigeria, uh, most of what was in the news about Nigeria had to do with 419 and crime. Um, but right here in Canada, we had some high achieving Nigerians, Nigerians who were um, you know medical doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs. Like right now, we have one of the biggest pharmaceutical institute in Canada that offers you know PhDs and master's degree and all that is owned by Nigerians. Uh, we have one of the best cardiologists in the country, a Nigerian. Uh, Nigerians are high achievers wherever they are in the world. If you look at in the U.S., for instance, uh, statistics have showed that Nigerians are among the highest, you know, group of people that are educated. Um, the, the most number of PhDs and master's degree of any group is, you know, Nigerians. But uh, we don't hear that uh, about that, you know, often. So, so that's why we told I, I just want to quickly yeah. jump in because, you know, you have said really amazing things about Africa and Africans who are doing well outside of Africa. But there are also Africans doing well within Africa. And, you know, some of these things even go unreported because we always depend on the West for solutions to uh, most of our problems. So what then is the importance of African-led solutions to African problems um, in changing the narrative about Africa? I really love this question because as people of African heritage worldwide, we cannot be respected uh, respected if Africa is not respected. Um, and, you know, there are lots of great things happening in Africa. The ingenuity, especially among the youth, is incredible. For instance, we've seen a lot of, you know, startup technological companies and we've seen, you know, companies like Microsoft um, going to Africa uh, to tap into the, the great knowledge a lot of the young people have to do with technology. Um, so for us, um, showcasing the best of Africa is so critical. Uh, and that's why in 2004, we started the Excellence Awards, which brings people from, you know, all over Africa and the diaspora together to celebrate our success stories. We brought people like Wole Shoinka, Yvonne Chaka Chaka. And to showcase our cultural, you know, richness, we have brought a lot of Nollywood stars and stars from other parts of uh, Africa, people like, you know, um, uh, we brought uh, RMD uh, two years ago, Ramza Noir, uh, we brought um, uh, Jackie Appiah, uh, Desmond Elliott, and, and people like that uh, to showcase the best of Africa. The other year we brought um, Dr. Chris Babungu, which is one, well, who is one of the best you know, people in biotechnology in Africa. And we, we bring them here to Toronto you know, and have a big gala to celebrate them and showcase their success stories to the world. Um, because we know that as Africans, 
we do have the solutions to our problems, but we just have to emancipate ourselves from that mental, you know, sort of clog that makes us believe that um, if something is not from the West, it's not, you know, it won't, it's not um, uh, good. So we have our own solutions right there on the continent, and that's what we need to celebrate and showcase and, and, and it sort of um, energize us and let us know that we have all we need and we can do it. We can actually you know, rise up above all the challenges that we have, poverty, war, and everything that the world has laid in upon us as negative. We can get ourselves out of those things. Absolutely. And we're proud of the work you're, you're doing. And we hope that other people, will, others will uh, join in your stride. Executive Vice President of Afro Global TV and Civil Trust Media, Patricia Bibi Amawa, thanks for talking to us. Thanks for having me.